potato chips, delicious and salty. Hello friends, my name is Brendan Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to part number 8 of Scribblenauts Unlimited. I'm not sure what's going to happen today, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty exciting, relatively exciting. Nothing's going to happen on the farm, mm -mm. We haven't been to the Maida Forest. I hope it has, like, uh, Pokemons and stuff. Maida Forest. The ultimate forest of forests. Ooh, mean dogs. Hey, right, what's going on, Ranger? Help the scout earn his merit badge. I will. What a nice person I am. What's up, first Ranger Rick? Wow. Burning dummies. Help the scout earn his merit badge. First, give him a tool to carve this log. A fork. Carve the log. You're not very good at this. A uh, handsaw. Hacksaw. Whatever. I think you could have done better with the fork. You probably used the fork for, like, the detailing and stuff. Fire safety is next. Give the scout something to put the dummy out. Fire. No, no, no. A blanket. Yeah. That's how a scout would do it, right? Uh-oh. Everybody's dying. I ruined it. Ugh. Bucket of water. There you go, kiddo. Ah, uh, you're the hero now, aren't ya? Mmm. Now that fire's out, give the scout something to fix the dummy's wounds. Med kit. Yeah. Oh, it's like a lady mummy. From dummy to mummy. <laughs> Time for target shooting. Start by giving the scout proper safety equipment. Here's some earplugs, kiddo. Put those in your face. Like the ear part of your face. Now it's time for the target practice. Give the scout a weapon to shoot the target. Assault raffle. Gotta teach these kids how to defend our country. Oh yeah! <laughs> he loves it! Look at all the destruction he's caused. Good boy. We're very proud of you. All right, a star. Starry, starry night. Play some scribble nuts unlimited. Sing a Don Henley song, and hope you don't get copyright infringed. These bugs are endless. Keep them away from me. We need a toad. He'll eat those bugs right up. Yeah! He knows what to do with the toad. You're smarter than a tree, kid. There was a tree in the last episode. Oh, never mind. Bye. My nose isn't good enough to strip, sniff out truffles alone. Usually use a pig, but is a dog good enough for you? Uh. That dog has feelings? <laughs> yeah, just pick it up. That's how it works. Grab it by the scruff of the neck and say, Show me where the truffles are! Mmm, lumberjack. My job is to cut this tree down, but I don't have any tools. Help stop Jack from cutting down this tree. I won't. Because you're a hippie, and you need to get a job. Ha ha ha! He's just doing his job. I can now play as Jack. <gasps> the manliest man! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Jack! Jack! We're the same, you and I! Now I've got this bird. Here, you can take this home with you. Isn't that fun? 
Let's be flying. Wee! Flying lumberjack! Levitating lumberjack. That's more alliterative and fun. I think I found a Sasquatch den, but I have no way to document it. Uh, pen and paper. Acid. Pen, pear, acid, paper. Whatever the fuck I just made worked. <laughs> oh, Sasquatch, don't run. Um, no. We'll edit an adjective. It will make him friendly. Friendly Sasquatch. Friendly Bigfoot. He doesn't like us. Hey! Hey, where you going? Hi, dogs. If I could raise a human cub... What? You'd eat it? Here's a fat baby that the stork never took anywhere. Ooh, cool. It's a little, uh... Fat druid. <laughs> That's funny. Help us finish this treehouse. Um, what do you need? A door? Here's a door. Or a carpenter. Here's a carpenter. Carpenter knows what to do. Mm -hmm. Now who's going to pay me? I was contracted to do a job. I expect to be compensated. I expect to be compensated, said John Kennedy. My kite is stuck in the tree. Help me get it down. Can I just get it? I'm flying. Ta-da. I didn't have to write anything down. I'm the best. I can play as patches now. That's exciting. Oh, how exciting. Tree. Yep, that tree's a tree, all right. Oh, it's a friendly Bigfoot. Aren't you happy now, hippie? Bet you are. All right. Grave Manor? I, I'm totally sure we've been here. Yeah. We could get some fragments, but I won't. There's places I haven't been. I gotta go check out Chili Willy Land. Lost Kingdom of the Parentheses. See? Doesn't that sound cool? Doesn't that sound better than going to the place we already been before? Oh my god. We're drowning! There's a ghost hanging out with King Atlantis. An alien underwater. Indiana Jones is here. My god. The Ark of the Covenant must be around. Bring it to me. Okay. Are you sure I won't have my eyes burned out? Locked Ark of the Covenant. Here. You want this? I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to empty it because I'll burn my eyes out. As previously stated. Oh, see? Now we're all dead. Now we're all dead. Oh. Maybe just you. Get off of me! Here, you can... <laughs> Ah! <laughs> he wanted the Ark of the Covenant, so I showed him the ghost that was inside the Ark of the Covenant, and then sealed him in. Whoa! Need to find a ruby, a diamond, and a titanite. Oh my god. A basilosaurus. Come closer to stop me. Okay. Discover what drained the ocean. Nothing. Yet. I don't think. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you know something I don't game? Tell me now. Oh, look. It's Dr. Grant. Oh, Dr. Grant. Okay. The city's been drained by a league of mad scientists. Distract the scientists with a creature from legends. Cthulhu! He's here! Yeah! The nuclear physicist is tired of studying uranium. Show her a new element to research. Hmm. Mercury. 
Yeah, just drip it on your head. That's a great way to study it. <laughs> Won't poison you at anything. Look at that robot gerbil. The roboticists cannot find a clean bedding for their robot hamster. Give the hamster cage some new bedding. Metal shavings. <laughs> oh, come on. You know what shavings are. I have no idea. He can poop in this toy car. He wants to sleep in a bed of bolts. I, 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 metal shavings would have been a much better... Never mind. You know what? Just here. Okay. Take your poopy race car. I hate you. I hate you. I've always hated you. I hate you. The story is open for the taking. This seems too easy. Mad scientist. Oh, snap. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. This star is begging to be grabbed. Get it. Oh no, this is an imposter star right in the gate locked. Yeah, I I guess that was going to happen. This door only opens up for mad scientists. Dress Maxwell up with two objects to fool the camera. Make myself look like a mad scientist with the obligatory lab coat. And crazy goggles. Crazy goggles. Hey, I'm a scientist like you. Big mad scientist also about what's on the inside. Apply an adjective to Maxwell and make him think like a mad scientist. Is that a good idea? Okay. He's smart, too. I was going to make him crazy or evil, but smart seems better. <laughs> the disguises fold the gates. Now it's time to destroy the drain. Yeah. Let's destroy that drain. Uh, click. Um, I put this inside. Here's some dynamite. Oh. The drain's all mine now, and I have dynamite strapped to my head. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my goodness. Destroy the drain. I get a hammer? Why is it all stuck to my head? Oh, the the goggles are crazy, that's why. Come here, crazy goggles. Give me this hammer. I need it. Urgh. Yeah. The mad scientist was actually a robot set to self-destruct. Find a way to contain the blast. Uh, maybe too late. Ah, uh, safe. A safe will work to contain the blast, and now I'll just drown in a <laughs> a pit of sorrow. Can I? Can I? You guys, what a bunch of jerks, man! Can I go over there? Oh, I locked myself in. Okay, thank God. Woo! It actually is getting harder and harder and harder and harder. That's okay though. We gonna figure this one out. Let's pet it. Hi buddy! Uh oh! You know my friend? Bye! Let's see if my assault rifle will work underwater. Hey buddy! Hey buddy! You think this is a joke? Do you? Uh. No mercy. None for you. 
Oh, look, it's Titanite. Let us pick this up. Hold my assault rifle. I'll be back for you. Let us, uh... Can I just drop it on? Is it going to work? I guess it does. It's going to fall off. No! I need my assault rifle back, please. <laughs> Lumberjack with an assault rifle. Oh! Best. What's down here? Hello? Oh, a diamond. And a Cthulhu. Cthulhu slept in, wake him from his slumber. A siren. Oh wait, that'll put him to sleep. Oh no, it won't. They hit everyone. Oh my god! What have I done? Can't swim through that to pick that up. Oh, let, let's do this actually. I'm going to end the episode with a weird goat thing. <laughs> Help the goats get past the sea troll. Ah, Billy Goat's gruff, but like underwater? That's weird. <laughs> you got to put that anywhere else in the game. Oh, whatever. Oh, I'm a shepherd. Shepherd Lumberjack Assault Rifle Man. The sea troll hungers for something remote. Feed it something that tastes like each goat. Mm. This is a small berry-like goat, a salty mountain goat, <laughs> and a spicy sea goat. Okay, so for the berry, I like uh, blueberries, because they're not super good. Yay, you're safe to go, little goat. Enjoy the mountain. Yeah, he's happy. Fearless Salty Goat. The berry allowed the first goat to pass. Now he grazes on luscious green grass. The second goat approaches ready to eat. Feed the sea troll a supplementary treat. I love the rhyming. Let us do a bag of potato chips. Potato chips. Delicious and salty. Om nom nom. Wait. Why did he change colors? What just happened? Did I kill him with potato chips? It's telling us something. Twice the goats were allowed to slip by. Now it's time for the last goat to try. The sea troll desires a fiery flavor. Give it something spicy to savor. Habanero pepper. Habanero? Yeah, that'll work. Ooh, you like that, Mr. Troll. It's changing all kinds of colors. And then he died. Well, at least the goats are safe. Although trolls are just creatures, too. They don't mean anything by it. <sighs> now I feel bad. Another star ride. So, this has been Scribble Knots part number eight. I shall find my way deep under this water and uh, rest in my watery grave until you return to us. <laughs> I hope you guys will join me for part number nine. Until then, this has been Scribble Knots Unlimited. I've been Brandon Dayton. See you then. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.